hey welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at the corporate and enterprise side of linux running on the raspberry pi using the seus linux enterprise server or the sles running on the raspberry pi apart from all the bells and whistles of the raspberry pi the sles boasts a btrfs file system and wait for it a 64-bit architecture on the raspberry pi now there have been unofficial distros that support 64-bit kernel and user land on the Raspberry Pi but SLES gives official support for it. That means you will be getting regular updates and bug fixes. The installation process was fairly easy. After burning the image on the SD card, we are welcomed with a familiar setup screen to set up new user and connect the device to our SUSE account. Once we are through that, we are welcomed with a very lightweight XTERM and ICE WM based desktop environment to keep unnecessary load of the CPU and RAM. All the system management tools provided by SUSE like the YAST2 are available and work as expected along with many other SUSE specific tools. This system seems to be great option for those who are familiar and comfortable with working on enterprise grade Linux operating systems. Now let's take a look at the kernel we are actually running on the SLES. A simple uname-a suggests that we are running on 4.4 Linux kernel compiled for ARC64 i.e. the 64-bit ARM instruction set. As a matter of fact, this is not the kernel used by Raspbian, instead this is an upstreamed kernel that is maintained by SUS themselves. A bit more investigation on the PROC CPU info reveals that we are running the ARM v8 instruction set and that means that the full capability of the Raspberry Pi 3's processor can now be exploited. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next time. Till then, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.